The exercise, codenamed Maritime Security Belt, will see participation from surface and aerial units of the Iranian Navy, alongside naval units from China and Russia. Representatives from Oman, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Pakistan, and South Africa will also be in attendance. The primary objective of the maritime drill is to bolster regional security and foster multilateral cooperation among the participating nations, showcasing their commitment to global peace. Key aims include enhancing the security of international maritime trade, countering piracy and maritime terrorism, facilitating humanitarian efforts, exchanging vital information on maritime rescue operations, and sharing operational and tactical expertise. By joining forces, Iran, China, and Russia aim to demonstrate their collective goodwill and capability in safeguarding maritime interests, underscoring the importance of collaborative efforts in maintaining stability and security in the region. Back in late February, Shara Marani, commander of the Iranian Navy, officially declared that the joint exercise would feature the participation of formidable naval forces. Providing insights into the strategic maritime efforts, the Rear Admiral disclosed that the mission to safeguard Iran's shipping lines in international waters was initiated in 2009 under the direct command of the leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei. Emphasizing the consistent commitment of the Army's strategic naval force, he highlighted their ongoing role in ensuring the security of the nation's economic hub in both the Gulf of Aden and the northern Indian Ocean. The Admiral further noted the expansion of the security mission beyond securing shipping lines in the Red Sea over the past four years. Presently, the comprehensive management of protection for Iran's shipping lines extends from the Gulf of Aden to the Suez Canal. In a concluding statement, Irani disclosed that the security measures for Iran's shipping lines involve three naval groups stationed at key maritime points. Moreover, he underscored the readiness of the Navy to provide support to other countries upon their request in these critical areas, echoing similar instances from the past. The Iranian Navy stages routine exercises throughout the year. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great progress in developing and manufacturing a broad range of military equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in military industry. Also in early February, Admiral Irani emphasized the exercise's goal of preserving and safeguarding the economic interests and reservoirs of the country, while also contributing to overall regional security and shared interests. By accompanying Iranian ships at sea, we protect the shipping of the Islamic Republic of Iran and help countries that need support to ensure security and safety," the Navy commander stated. He said that with the support of the Ministry of Defense and the Armed Forces, it is planned to add several ships to the Navy fleet by the end of this year. Iran, China and Russia have held several joint military drills in recent years to improve the security of international maritime trade, counter piracy and maritime terrorism. Exchange information in naval rescue and relief operations and exchange operational and tactical experiences.
Last month, Rear Admiral Shara Marani made the announcement on Monday and said the joint exercise will be staged before the, the current Iranian year ends on March 19, with the aim of maintaining security in the West Asia region. Stressing that a number of other countries have also been invited to participate in the joint drill alongside Iran, Russia and China, the high-ranking commander said the most important strategy of the Iranian Navy under the current circumstances is to preserve and protect the interests and economic resources of the country. Irani added that the exercise will be held with the purpose of ensuring regional security and fulfilling common interests. We protect the Islamic Republic of Iran's shipping and assist countries that need support to ensure security and safety," he added. Irani also underlined that several ships are expected to join the Iranian Navy fleet by the end of the year. The Iranian naval forces and their Chinese and Russian counterparts have held several military drills in recent years to enhance the security and stability of international maritime trade. They have also been involved in joint efforts aimed at countering piracy and maritime terrorism, exchanging information in naval rescue and relief operations, as well as sharing operational and tactical experience. In March 2023, the Iranian, Chinese and Russian naval forces staged the 2023 Marine Security Belt War Game in the northern parts of the Indian Ocean, which was the fourth joint exercise in recent years.